Have you ever done something so often that you can do it with your eyes closed? Trouble is, these repetitive actions slow down your workflow. In this video, you'll learn how you can use auto actions in Clip Studio Paint to streamline common operations. For example, creating a new canvas and setting up your initial sketch layers for illustration. <laughs> With auto actions, you can combine multiple commands into a single playable action. To access the auto action window, click Window from the main menu and select Auto Action. This takes you to the auto action palette. If you're using the illustration workspace, you'll see this palette in the lower left corner. It's the third tab over. To make things easier to see, let's undock this palette and make it larger. Auto actions are organized using sets. While you can add new sets to the default set, it's not uncommon to create a custom set or even multiple custom sets. To create an auto action set, click the Create New Auto Action Set button located next to the Set Selection dropdown. When prompted, enter a name for the set and click OK. This creates a new auto action set with a default command named Auto Action 1. Rename this command to New Canvas and hit Enter. If you need to change the name, click the title and make your adjustments. When you're done, press Enter. At this point, you're ready to record the commands for this auto action. To begin recording, click the Record button in the bottom right of the Auto Action palette. For this auto action, you'll create a new canvas and add three layers for sketching. From the main menu, select File New. This brings up the new canvas window where you can set things like the file name, the width, height, and resolution, along with various other options. For the file name, enter new illustration. Set the canvas size to 2048 by 2048 with a resolution of 600. If it's not already set, change the basic expression to color and the paper color to white. When you're done, click OK. If you look at the Auto Action palette, you'll see there's a new command titled New. Using the chevron to the left, you can expand this command to view its configuration details. Alright, time to set up the layers. Highlight layer 1 and delete it. Next, add a new vector layer and rename it to Initial Sketch. Right-click the newly created layer and select Layer Settings Set as Draft Layer. By default, draft layers are not included when exporting or printing your file, so it's a perfect choice for this layer. With the initial sketch layer, I like to use a non-photo blue color for both the layer color and the palette color. To set the layer color, click the Layer Color button and then the arrow to the right of the layer color. Enter the hex value of A4DDED, or you can set it using the RGB value, which is 164. 221237. When you're done, click OK. All right, time to set the palette color. Click the Change Palette Color button on the Layer Palette and select Use Other Color. Enter the same hex value, A4DDED, and click OK. Finally, set this layer's expression to monochrome. Now that you have the initial sketch layer created, you can create the other two layers. Right-click on the Initial Sketch layer and select Duplicate Layer. Rename this layer to Refined Sketch. You also need to change the colors this layer will use. First, the layer color. Set this to Non-Photo Red using the hex value of EDB4A4. The RGB value is 237180164. When you're done, click OK. Now for the palette color. Use the same hex value, EDB4A4. Once you have it set, click OK. You now have the initial and refined sketch layers. The last layer to add is the cleanup layer. Duplicate the refined sketch layer and rename it to cleanup sketch. Set the layer color using a hex value of 333333. This is an 80% gray color. And for the palette, instead of using the same dark gray, make it a little lighter and use CCCCCC. This is a 20% gray. 
To stop recording your commands, hit the Stop to Record Auto Action button in the bottom of the Auto Action palette. It's time to test the new Auto Action. In the Auto Action palette, select the New Illustration Canvas and click the Play button. If everything went according to plan, you'll have a new illustration canvas that includes three layers for your initial, refined, and cleanup sketches. There's one problem, though. The wrong layer is selected. Wouldn't it be better to have the initial sketch layer selected instead of the cleanup layer? Thankfully, you can modify auto actions. Select the last command, in this case the Change Palette Color command, and click the Record button. Now select the initial sketch layer. Notice a new command, Change Editing Layer, appears in the Auto Action palette. Click Stop and now rerun the action. Did you miss it? <laughs> Me too. Let's close some of these files and try again. Excellent. Everything works as expected, including the new command that selects the initial sketch layer. To make this Auto Action easier to use, you can add it to the command bar. To do that, drag the Auto Action right up to the command bar, like so. If you want, you can customize things even more. You can adjust the icon settings by right-clicking on the icon and selecting Icon Settings. From there, you can specify the image file. I created this 80 by 80 PNG to use. You can also set the background color, which I won't do here because this image file is more than enough. When you're done, click OK. You now have a new command in the command bar that creates a new illustration canvas. Well done. So there's a lot more to auto actions, but let's keep this video short and save that for another time. Well, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about auto actions in Clip Studio Paint and how you can use them to speed up your workflow. Mm -hmm.